Neighborhood nuisance, a dog that is escaping a fence and biting people, and it's happening near a high school. And we want to warn you, some of the images tonight in this story may be unsettling to some viewers watching tonight. And Tony Maronis, though, shows us just what's happening now to keep this dog from biting others. Three River Schools sits just across the street where two complaints of a dog biting people has happened in the past week. And I started walking home. Taylor High School senior April Nance was surprised last Tuesday. This dog just crawled under from a gate and just started biting at me. Neighbor Sarah Slaughter rushed out to help Nance. I heard a girl screaming and I went out and um, I guess the dog had, uh, I guess, reached over or something and bit her arm. I was flipping out. Nance gave me these pictures of the aftermath of her arm. It's pretty much healed now. The people that lived over there rushed over and helped her, and I guess she called her mom. The next morning, Slaughter encouraged some of the kids walking to school to not go near the house on the sidewalk. Little boy, when I pulled up, he was a little scared, but um, I told him to walk over on my side. Police cited the owner of the dog last week for not controlling the animal. That fine has already been paid. Then yesterday, a man says the dog jumped the fence and did this to his hands. The police chief told me the victim did not want to file a police report because the owner paid for the medical attention to his hands. If it's already attacked two people, with like it's only been a week, so right. something needs to be done. And it definitely needs to be on some kind of a tie down or a leash or something. Something needs to be kind of done with that. The SPCA cited the owner for failing to license the dog. Tony Moronis, 9 on your side, Cleves.